No fastening job is complete without stating that ain't going nowhere. Okay, so here's the benches. They're 20, they're 24 and 16 inch hallway and 24. So electrical will be underneath this side, water will be underneath this side. There'll be a table that folds down and fills this gap across here. So the table is going to sit up here and it's going to be made of this same 80 20 stuff and it'll It'll fold down and and land in that, but it, it'll be made of this, not this. And so then we'll have a bed. So what we'll do is we'll have a cushion here and a cushion here. That's normally a couch, but then we'll take one of the cushions, which will be 16 inches tall, and it'll fit perfectly into here. So we'll have a six foot by six foot bed, which isn't standard. We're going to have to get some custom cushions. But what I want to show is how I'm attaching okay. these. It's not smell of vision, is it? I just ate Reese's pieces. No. So I made these brackets. This is one inch uh, by one inch aluminum angle, and it's got the key nut on it. And so that, that slips in the slot, okay? So that's what's going to go down here. I'm not quite prepared for you. Where, where do you get all this 8020 stuff? There's a company called 8020. If they're in Indiana, you buy, buy it. it. It's real expensive, but it's really fun to work with. It's like Lego blocks for big people. And what's the advantage over it over wood? Most people would just do well, this with wood. The problem with wood is it looks like wood and it's just two by fours and screws and I don't know, I just didn't want to do that. Do you think this is lighter than wood? Yeah. Okay. And of course it's it's per, it's stronger per weight. So all of this is gonna be removable. Completely right. So if we exactly. wanted to transport some cargo in this van, yep. we could do that by doing what? How we Even work? the floor will come out. But uh, if you look around here, see all the brackets around that connect it to the floor? So there's one, Those, two, three, four, and, five. And they're not screwed into the wood. They're screwed into a threaded insert like that. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and that's how it goes in. This needs, I believe this is 5 sixteenths. So I've pre-drilled this to quarter inch. So that's, so I've locked it down to where I need it. And then I'm going to go straight through the middle. So this is a little bit bigger than the middle. So I'm actually going to drill both at the same time. I have some tape on here so that I know not to go too far. Ready? Are you using a special bit? Uh not really, it's just a good, you know, high speed steel bit. Still cut aluminum, this is soft aluminum. Okay, so we have holes like that. Now I'm going to switch out to this Allen bit, which fits in here. Okay, that's how I'm going to get that in there. And grab me one more over there. No fastening job is complete without stating that ain't going nowhere. So are you going to finish? 
can't just stop the video here. You gotta finish. You gotta get the last screw in. Yeah. And my keynote fell out on this one, so I'm gonna have to fish it through. So you are gonna make it difficult for you. Oh, well, we don't have to do that. But I will put this one in if you want. So I first tried to drill these holes separate and measure them and get them in there and then line them up. But uh, they were always off about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. So this concept of locking down the angle and drilling straight through uh, aligns everything perfectly. But really, this is this is very strong. So it's been over a hundred degrees pretty much every day for the last month. So the amount of work he can get done is limited to a couple of hours in the morning. And we have an arrow on the ground. I'm not sure why. Okay, so let's go inside and see what he's gotten done. Plenty of room for us to walk down the middle. And this is going to be our kitchen. You see he's got the water tanks down there and a sink. Came in. Oops, it didn't work. Well, if it's screwed down, you can lift the top. So it's a sink with a top on it. There is our shower pan, which is just a little askew right now, but that's basically where our shower is going to go. And that is our refrigerator, which is going to go up a little bit with some storage space underneath. He's got all the... Um, Air conditioner, max air fan, fan and everything uh, wired. You can see it's wired and put in through there. Um, he was working on the back door panels and there was an issue, so I don't know where that is at this moment. Something about the weather stripping got in the way. I don't know. Even though these are screwed down, there's still room for us to work on the walls. And I know that's sort of out of order of what a lot of people do. They do their walls first, but um, this is how he did it. But everything is modular, so it can all come out. So if we wanted to carry something in this van, we can unscrew the bed frames, the bench frames, and take them out. And then this can be somewhat of a cargo van again. And of course, electronics and water and stuff, batteries, is all gonna go under there. And you can see he's starting his battery set up. So let's go look at some of the other stuff he's gotten in. So here's an exciting thing. This is our toilet. We're gonna start with a dry toilet system. We may go into a composting toilet at some point, but we're not starting out this way. So I watched a really good video that I'll link below that talked about different kinds of toilets. And we decided to go with a dry toilet system using uh, cat litter. And so this is just basically a fancy bucket. Um, you've got a lid. You've got a seat. You have a lid that fits on top of the bucket. The bucket is removable and it will have a liner in it so that when um, when you go to dump it, you just remove the liner and tie the plastic bag up and throw it away. So we'll see, you know, I'll have to let you know how that works, but we've sat on it. It fits very comfortably. Here's our shower door and it's, um, it's a screen that pulls. I don't know if you can tell. So it rolls into here, and then this pulls out. And that will be our shower door. So here is a back door panel 